Coming up next, a UFC welterweight division matchup. There is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the field. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 14 wins, 8 losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Orlando, Florida, Mike Platinum Perry. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Cleveland, Ohio, USA, the problem. You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room? Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. Ready. You ready to fight? All right, so we've got two classically trained strikers here. Any chance this fight actually goes to the ground? This fight does not go to the ground. This one will be fought in the pocket. Two guys will stand in front of each other. They will trade punches. They will trade kicks. It's gonna be a classic matchup that you normally see inside of a ring. We get it in the octagon tonight. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Big kick lands. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. Good 
punch land. Caught that kick there. Ooh, that uppercut landed for him. Final minute. Oh, big elbow. Seconds here. All right, he engages in a single column tie here. Ring shot for the end of round one. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, second round now underway. I'm no analyst, but a little bit of a feeling out process there, man. And that's a part of being in the octagon with someone that's so skilled. You cannot just go after them guns are blazing. Both of these young men are trying to find the right moment to attack. Big ball from punch lands. Now we get back to range. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that off. Jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws his punch. He landed it perfectly. Perfect placement. Perfect position. What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. Harry's hook shot gets blocked. The defense saw that one coming. Nice double leg. Nice finish. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Good, solid strike on the ground. Nice leg kick. Oh, could be in trouble after that knee to the head. That one was going to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Harry's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Oh, single collar tie here. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. That wasn't a bad round. That wasn't a bad round. Could have gone either way. All right, here we go with the start of another round. Pretty good previous two rounds, I thought. Yeah, it's been a very competitive fight to this point. Both guys have had their moments, especially in these last two rounds. You expect the fight to go ahead, but they both been so in the match. It's still right home start. Honing in on those counters. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Oh, nice right hand, John. Single follow tie now. Strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Oh, he lands another strike to the ball. Oh, his opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether it's run, high, grab, or reference. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Right there, his opponent's compromised, DC. It's one thing to land 
a hard shot. It's another big complete to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. clinch here. Lands the right hand. Stop, stop, stop. That was beautiful. I don't know how he survived that knockdown. You're going to go out there and you're going to knock him down again and close the game. All right, so a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if he continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish. You ready to fight? Ready. Do it. Big punch lands on the oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh! Oh! He's still attached to his body. The last time I saw an uppercut like that, it was Oberly versus Ngannou. And you know they still haven't found Alistair over his head. Oh, nice straight punch there. It must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Landed another great shot to the body. They're really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Effective punch there by Perry. So once again, leaning on that long reach as he counters effectively with a jab to the head. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard. And News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Less than a minute to go in the round. Oh, nice. Nice. 45 seconds remain in the round. Notice the drive. Look at how they drive the knee right into the midsection. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing. Boxing. Box. There's no tell on that leg kick. Five more minutes. You know he's gonna go for the takedown. You know that, right? So you gotta time that stuff. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC talking through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. You ready to fight? Ready. Fifth and final round. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Harry's lower jaw looking extremely swollen. He's hurt bad. Oh, he goes with the punch and he lands. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. there, DC. He is officially rough. A big, massive hook. I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout, and that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight.
Well, what a moment for him here tonight. A huge knockout on one of the sport's biggest stages. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at 1 minute, 26 seconds of round number 5. Declaring the winner by knockout, the All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He